Hello from Hobart. Richmond to be precise. We just arrived in Hobart this morning, flew in. We got here at like 8 a.m. Picked up our little nifty hire car. It nifty. sounds like a taxi. <laughs> Um, we went to, it's Sunday, so we went to Farmgate Market in the city this morning and we've got a bit of time to kill before we check in to our accommodation, which is in Battery Point. So we've just driven to Richmond. Um, it's Mikey's first time in Tasmania. Yes, yeah, very oh, interesting. dressed up. Yeah. Um, so we've just come here to explore. I used to come to Tasmania all the time when I was little, so it's nothing new for me. But I actually don't remember ever coming to Richmond. So we're going to have a little look around. We're a bit tired. It's like stepping into the It's going to be future. like a lazy day. <laughs> it's very old school here, but like really cute. Yeah. And it's a nice day. It's warm. So, we'll see how we go. It's 11.20 and we're checking in at 2, so we've got couple hours to kill here then we'll drive back to our little cottage accommodation in Battery Point and that's that we are just down by the river in Richmond Mike is trying to run away from me but he's got sore feet so he can't do it <laughs> There's heaps of ducklings, they're so cute. And now we're walking to the, the famous bridge. It's right here, so we can show you. It is very pretty. It looks like a painting with the ducklings in it. Here. With that like little castle in the background. What is going on? Who is talking like that? <laughs> you should try get in line. <laughs> <laughs> See if they follow you. <laughs> Hello from Battery Point. Uh, we, I don't think we showed anything since we were in Richmond. We went along the river, which I think is the last footage I took. And then we went into the jail and I didn't want to film much in there because it was a bit um, eerie, like jail from, I think, 18, 1850 or something. Very scary in there. And then we just walked around like a little street, looked at some shops, Mike got a pie, I got a salad, it was really nice and sunny, it was very nice actually. Um, and then we drove back to Hobart to Battery Point which is where we're staying and checked into our little cottage which I'll show you now. Um, we haven't done much this afternoon, it's like 7 o'clock now and since we got here at 2 o'clock um, we had a nap straight away, which is very uncommon for me, but we were up at 4am this morning, so we needed it. So we had a little nap and then we walked, um, after our nap, went for a walk down to Salamanca, which is like a five minute walk from Battery Point. Um, and just got a quick drink. It was nice, sat out in the sun. Picked up some groceries for our kitchen so we can make breakfast tomorrow. We got some groceries at the market this morning as well, which was good. So I'm going to have eggs and bacon tomorrow, which we'll show you. And I will show you our cute little cottage. Here is Micah. We're getting ready for dinner. And I'll flip you around and take you around. So you come in, you've got like our little seating area here it's very old school which is sort of cute like it sits the area little kitchen and bathroom in there and then we go upstairs it'll be a quick tour because it's not a huge place you can see more of like the downstairs here there's a fireplace which we might use but it's not cold enough today so we'll see the next few days this is like our little living room area um i've got like this stack of dvds and board games and stuff so we're like oh movie night got snacks for a movie night there's another fire here and then that cozy little bedroom it's a bit messy because 
we had a nap and we've just trashed our stuff everywhere. Now the fireplace. And that's it. And then at our window is like right on the main street in Battery Point, which is Hampton Road. So we're just going to walk straight down there to get to our dinner reservation in Salamanca in like half an hour. This is my outfit. And that's it. We will bring you along to dinner. Um, it's like a steak sort of restaurant. I don't know what you call that. Just like a nice restaurant. Um, gonna get some food and then have an early night. So we'll show you how we go. We were walking back through here a few hours ago. We saw this big line of little kids dressed up in Halloween costumes. Trick there was like 50 of them. And then they all came to this park. No, all these little like training. witches and stuff. And they had like they had like an Easter egg hunt, but Halloween. I think because you can't actually go up to people's houses. It's like not a thing. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. We are in Salamanca now. This is where we're going for dinner, Rock Wall. But somebody forgot their phone charger. So we're going to go try and find a phone charger first. And then we will come back to eat. It's a very cute little area here. Where is it? Salamanca. Mate, a little bit of mood. And we want to try these bikes tomorrow. Scooters. Scooters. <laughs> so, coffee or rum? Dinner's done. Dinner's done. I got fish. Mike got steak. He got some oysters. Had a wine. It was lovely. Now we're just hiking up this hill back to our little cottage. It is cold. It's like 8.30 and we're just gonna get into bed <laughs> and like turn on the heated blanket in the bed and watch TV in bed, which we never do because we don't have a TV in our bedroom. And maybe, oh, we don't have any tea actually. So yeah, we do, don't we? No, there's only green tea there. Yeah. Um, we'll have a water <laughs> in bed yeah. and some red licorice and call it a night That's on all. night one in Hobart. Uh, good morning. I think last time we spoke, we were coming back from dinner last night. We didn't end up watching Stay a movie. Stay in the light too late. Come on, Siri. Uh, we didn't end up watching a movie or lighting a fire or doing any of the things we said we were going to do. We just went straight to bed. We were very tired. Um, and then we woke up this morning, made a nice breakfast in our little cottage. Um, and then had to go drive to find Micah a phone cord. Driving cord. Uh, so we went to Sandy Bay and that was nice. We drove through the main street there, drove down to the beach. Mike got his court. I walked home from there, back to Battery Point, through like all the nice streets with the pretty cottagey houses, which was nice. Um, took lots of photos of all the nice houses I can put them in here. Mm -hmm. You went for a run? Went for a run. How'd you go? Very hilly. Yeah, it's very hilly. Right. It's like hard to walk, so I imagine it'd be very hard to Yeah, it's a really nice day. It's like 20 degrees here, which I think is very rare, sort of around this time of year, start of spring. So I feel like lots of people are going to be out and about, although it is a Monday and it's not a public holiday for Tasmania. So it's like not that busy. Um, we are on our way to Mona. We're like 10 minutes away. We will okay. take you along at Mona. I don't think we can film in there. Um, I don't think you're allowed to bring cameras in, but I can probably do a bit on my phone and then we will update you after.
update of the afternoon. We finished off at Mona around lunchtime. We were going to get lunch there, but we got um, a beer at the winery and then we were sitting down about to order food and it started raining really heavily and it was really windy and everyone outside got wet. So there were no seats inside and we had to leave and we decided to go to Frogmore Creek Winery on the way back. Um, they didn't have a table at the restaurant for us, but they said we could sit outside and by that time it had stopped raining, the sun came out. Um, it was really nice, the food was amazing. And I think I've got some footage of everything they ate. It was like oysters, arancini, bread, scallops, wines, like a whole bunch of stuff. And it was $80, so very cheap. For like a really nice venue and the people were really nice so highly recommend that it did mean that we had to go back the way that we went yesterday towards richmond but that was fine and then after that um we just stopped in the city for a little bit um just to look at a few shops which we didn't get anything it was a bit um disappointing but that's fine and then we came back to our little cottage where we're at now and Mike had a nap. I read my book. I'm trying to finish a book while I'm here that I've been saving for this trip. So trying to power through it and it's Halloween. So I've been listening to like all the trick or treaters go past. Um, and now we're about to go for dinner just across the road to a place called Da Angelo's. Da Angelo's. Um, it's an Italian restaurant and it's very highly reviewed, like little family run, um, sort of casual place. And it's probably going to be another early night because we're just really tired, which is good. It's like a really good house to be tired in. It's comfy and we can just chill um, and rest and sleep, which is nice. Hopefully there'll be a scary movie on TV for Halloween and we can watch a movie relax and eat my tiramisu and that will be that for the night. We haven't talked about dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner's done. It was delicious. We, now we're looking for scooters. We've been seeing scooters everywhere. Now we think. Hello. Oh. Start riding. Please download the Neuron app. <laughs> it's really hard to get going. This is low speed mode? Huh. <laughs> I like your helmet. Scooter session's done. Did you love that? I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it was fun. Did you enjoy that? Post dinner scooter, scooter ride. ride. And Which? It's like almost sunset, pretty much sunset. Cost 20 bucks. We rode for 40 minutes. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Up and down the streets in Battery Point. Going downhill is a bit scary, but hey, that's life. Let's do it again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wake up and scooter. <laughs> My arms are sore. Your arms are? No. I think because I hold on too tense. She was a scooter girl. <laughs> All right, time for a movie and some tiramisu. just drove to the top of Mount Wellington. We're up here now. Very scary drive. A very scary drive. Mike uh, handled it well in our little rental car, but I was 
scared shitless, but we're here now. We're gonna brave the cold outside the car. What's the temperature? It Two is. degrees. <laughs> Yeah, on our way to Bruni Island. Bruni Island. I don't think we even said what we did yesterday. What did I don't, we do yesterday? Yeah, I was just gonna say I don't remember what we did yesterday. We. We went and got fish and chips. Oh, we're moving. Oh, we're moving. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> spooky. We are on the ferry. <laughs> spooky. We're on the twelve ten ferry to Bruni Island. We weren't going to go. It's our last day and we're flying home at like 5.40 or something. So we've got to drop this car back at 4 o'clock. But it's rainy and we sort of run out of things to do. Yeah. Like we'd spent enough time in Battery Point, in Salamanca, around the wharf. We went to Mona, we went Sandy to Mount Bay. Wellington, we went to Mount Nelson. Yeah. We went out for dinner. We went to a cafe this morning. Yeah, we've been out to lunch a few times. We've been scootering. Yeah. And we were like, okay, that's it. We're out of activities. Hmm. Um, to Bruni Island it is. Yeah, gives us something to do. We're gonna get some food. Mike is gonna get some oysters. Yeah. Drive them around, maybe spot an animal if we can. There's lots of wallabies around. Yeah, so I don't much know, every... um, roadkill. Yeah. Every restaurant doesn't have much beef, but they have a lot of wallaby. Do you reckon? No, they can't like repurpose roadkill, can they? <laughs> I don't think so. I swear that's a thing. No, like, you so it doesn't go to that, waste. That Dharma show where he gets the roadkill. Does he do that? Yeah. I haven't watched it. He wants to cut things open, so he goes gets the roadkill. Mm. Oh, well, at least he's using roadkill. He's not killing the animal. Yeah, then he starts killing people. <laughs> <laughs> he practices any roadkill. <laughs> anyway, so we're moving now. Yeah. That's good. It's quite a comfy ferry. Yeah, it's very easy. You just pay and then just drive on, and then like within ten minutes you do it like you're moving. So. Yeah, it's not like you have to like book it. Like you could just decide last minute and come, like we did. Like you don't have to plan ahead. Let's go for a walk. Waste is galore. This guy. This guy. We are at the top of the Look out, excuse the puffing, we just walked up these steps. 